speed. How do you find the speed of an object? Speed is how far you go in a certain amount of time. The rate at which an object moves is its speed. Speed can be calculated this way. Speed equals distance divided by time. We also have it as this formula, S equals D over T. In math, you might know it as rate equals distance over time. Because again, speed is the rate at which you travel a certain distance in a certain amount of time. We use the DST triangle. Speed is distance over time. When the numbers are one on top of each other, that means divide. Side by side, it means multiply. So speed equals distance over time. Time equals distance over speed. And distance equals speed times time. Try and figure out where you think these units would go. Which units are units for distance? Which are units for time? Which are units for speed? Create the triangle and place them where you think they would go. Here's a little hint. A time, you can find it by looking at a clock or by looking at a calendar. Distance, you can walk it, you can run it, you can drive it. Speed is one thing over another. Let's see how you did. Feet is a distance. Miles is a distance. Kilometers is a distance. Meters is a distance. Time. Minutes are time. An hour is time. Speed, feet per second. Meters per second. Miles per hour. Kilometers per hour. Miles per hour. Knows they all have something in common for speed. Let's see if you remember where these letters go. Go ahead and place them. Which letter goes on top? Which letter goes on the left? And which letter goes on the right? D is on top. S is on the left. T is on the right. Let's practice. A person drives a car for two hours and goes 150 miles. What is the person's speed? Well, first we'll want to write down the formula. Speed is distance over time. Then we plug in what we're given. We are given the fact that this person went 150 miles. That's our distance. And they drove for two hours. That's our time. 150 divided by two gives us the speed of 75 miles per hour. Here's another one. A wasp is flying towards you at 8.2 meters per second. You are stunned and cannot move. It takes two seconds for the wasp to see you. How far did the wasp travel? Hmm, this time it's asking for distance. What, do you get? what are you given? Well, you're given the speed this time because we have meters per second. We're given the time of two seconds. What do we need to find? We need to find the distance. Let's look at our equation. Remember, distance is speed times time. So that means we need to multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 16.4. Let's see if you can practice now. In number one, the train travels 183 miles. It took three hours to reach its destination. 
what was the train's speed? Make sure you plug in what was the distance you were given, what is the time you are given. Use your formula speed equals distance over time to find the speed. Now let's move on to number two. It's a little more complicated and you can use a calculator if you need to. In 6.19 seconds, Jack ran 32.188 meters. How fast was Jack running? What was the distance Jack ran? What was the time it took him to run that? Plug it in, distance divided by time. What was Jack's speed? <laughs> 